Hey guys, welcome back to another Regular Dude Fishing video. I am the Regular Dude John, and today I'm going to be making a homemade popper style bait, uh, lure, whatever it is that you want to call it, using a cheap little old wooden candlestick. Um, I need, or I want, I should say, a bait that is about five inches long, and but it's still going to have about two to two and a half ounces of weight behind it because the areas that where we are fishing uh, we need to have long casts and we just need that extra weight to help us get out to where we need to be when the fish are feeding topwater uh, down there below the uh, gates at the Green Up Locks and Dam. I've done some experimenting with just like little chunks of uh, broom handle but this little thing only weighs an ounce and there's no way that I'm going to be able to put another ounce onto this for the weight without it being able to and still uh, you know just going to sink. It's not going to hold any of the uh, it's not going to hold any weight, not going to do what I want it to do. So, brainstorming, I'm like, hmm, little candlestick. It's already got the little popper hole in it, and uh, it's already got kind of the shape that I want. If you don't have a lathe, or you don't want to do the lathe, or all the shaking, uh, all the shaping with sandpaper, and that kind of stuff, we're going to see if we can turn this into one. And uh, what we're going to do is some of these, when you get them, we're going to have a little screw on the bottom of them to hold this little plate on. So I'm going to take that little screw off of there. That is going to remove that bottom plate. And then since I'm looking for about a five inch length or so, I'm going to just take my little hand saw here and I'm gonna cut this candlestick off right there in this first little nook. Just like that. We got some sandpaper that we'll be able to uh, sand it off and smooth it off here in a little bit. Now, on the front, whenever we uh, are pulling the, the bait through the water, we want it to do that popping sound. You can see this has got a real deep cavity. We don't need that much of a deep cavity. So we're going to just kind of estimate to where we have about a quarter of an inch, maybe even less, uh, uh, closer to an eighth of an inch, because you just want it to catch that water uh, and make that pop. You don't want it to be too much of a drag and, and to go underneath every time you pop it. Uh, and it's always better to cut it a little long and trim it if you need to, but we're going to go ahead and cut this off to where we have this uh, this face piece down here Out of this uh, little candlestick here. We're just going to kind of make an estimate There we go. This is going to be our basic bait. Uh, some of these baits, these really good quality heavy baits that, uh, that, that we was looking at, uh, cost sometimes $15, almost $20. Uh, and these little cheap little wooden candlesticks are mass produced and you can find them sometimes at a yard sale for 50 cents, a dollar. I'm sure you can find them on the internet. That's pretty cheap. And there's a little bit of uh, basic tools and a little bit of basic time and you'll have your basic shape. I'm just going to take a piece of sandpaper now. I don't even know what grit this is. Probably 80, I'd say, maybe 100, 120 ish, somewhere around in there. And it's going to start sanding it down smooth on these edges here. Sand it down smooth, and I'm going to sand this in here uh, quite a bit to try to round that as much as I can to make that popper, uh, that popper section. So I'm not going to bore the crap out of everybody with that as far as the sanding goes. So once I get this section done and I'm, I get this smoothed out in through here, and I may even trim it a little more, get it closer to an eighth of an ounce, uh, then this will be ready just to kind of give it a quick sand and painting, but we will get to that step next. So what I'm gonna be doing for the time being is working on this up here, rounding that out, and like I said, I may trim it down if I need to. All right, we got our basic shape here for our popper bait. I got a digital scale here. We're going to set it on there. It looks like we are just under. It looks like we are one and three quarters ounces. So uh, by the time we add the coat of paint and our uh, little hooks and spindles and stuff like that, this should be right at the two ounce mark we want. Let's see if it floats and how it floats. Looks like it floats pretty well. 
That way as we're pulling it through the water, we'll get that little bit of action from the front here. These, uh, these lathe marks are already on here for us, which is in the center, so we'll know exactly where the center is when we go to put in our eyelet for the, the, uh, the tire line to and uh, the hook on the back. The weight is distributed with the most of the weight towards the back of the bait so that when you cast it, it flies more straight and, and it flies better and it doesn't wobble a whole lot. And I like the way that sits in the water. So now, the next step is we are going to sand it a little, a little bit more and put a coat of paint on there. We're going to start with just a basic white white paint and we'll go from there. We're not making a pretty bait yet. Right now we're just wanting to see uh, if this is going to work and how well it's going to work. And then we will uh, paint it and then put some hardware on it. But it just goes to show you a little bit of thinking outside the box. Even the regular dudes can make good quality stuff uh, at baits that will work without having to spend a whole lot of money with just some basic little hand tools. So we'll see you in a bit. So now what we're going to do is we got our basic, we're just going to spray paint it white with a base coat. Everything's been sanded. Just a base coat, white, because we're not interested in fancy yet. We're not interested in how it looks or put any kind of designs on it. We're just going to put the hardware on there and then see how it casts and how it retrieves through the water. So. Uh, now we're going to finish getting the hardware on here in a little bit. We've already got the eye on the front. And here in a minute we're going to put another hook here on the bottom and one over the back. And then uh, probably when we get done with all that we'll see it on, on the riverbank. Alright, so here we go. We've got our hooks on. These are just pair of hooks we've got laying around. We use these little eyelets. Um, the little, uh, I'll show them to you here in a second. We were going for two ounces on the weight. And it is 2.1 ounces. And uh, these are the, uh, the little eye hooks that we used. Where are they at there? There they are. To, uh, to, hold, the, uh, to hold the hooks. And now we're going to make sure that it still floats. Got this little bucket of water. Toss it in there. And it floats just fine. Alright man. I am super excited. So now it's time to hit the river. And get this thing wet. And see if we can't make our pole bend. All right, there's going to be some wind noise, but that's how it sits. This is, I'm out here on the Ohio River at the Greenup Locks and Dams. The river's way up uh, and out of control. But I wanted to show you guys how it sits in the water, if I can find it again here. Where'd it go? There it is. I'll zoom in on it a little bit. That's how it's going to come through the water. That second hook is probably not necessary, but it's more of a, of a keel. And I don't think it's too bad. We can cast it. I could say it casts about, I don't know, at least 80 and probably 90 yards at two ounces with my big surf rod. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's going to work. So there you have it, guys. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Uh, it took me all of about 15 minutes to put this thing together. And uh, it saved me a lot of money. And I'm probably going to uh, find some more of these uh, at garage sales and uh, thrift stores and uh, eBay and stuff. And make a couple more so I got some spares. At some point we'll paint this one up really cool, give it some eyes or a little different color. We just were trying it out, proof of concept type thing today. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll make some more. And uh, at some point we'll come out here and make a video fishing with it and catching fish. I hope. <laughs> so that's all for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Y'all have a great rest of the day. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Fishing!